Hello and welcome to our second uh, video tutorial on uh, Mechanism Simplified and this one is an introduction to state machines. Um, first of all, what we had on the last video, make sure you watch the, the first video, which was uh, Lesson 01. This is Lesson 02. Lesson 01 was the basic steps. Uh, we had this. We had our skeleton and Our Lady uh, both dancing. And uh, Jane uh, used the animation from the skeleton pack. So, uh, and she didn't have any animations of her own, but now since they are both part of the Mechanin system, uh, they can uh, share each other's animations. Basically, J uh, Joan, I'm sorry, this is Joan. Joan is sharing the skeleton's animation. So, what I'd like to talk about is that uh, our state machines, and what is a state machine? Well, if I left click on this animator panel, what I'm really looking at is a, a state machine. A state machine is an abstract machine that can be in any number of states, but it can only be in one state at a time. This, uh, and it always, there's always a start state in all state machines. So this is a diagram that represents a state machine, and this is a new state. And the state that this is, I can use my uh, uh, left mouse button to move this over. If I come over here, I look, the state it's in is in the dance. So this is an orange color to show that it's in the, uh, the, the start state, but there's no other states. This is it. So what is a state? Well, the st a state is a status of a system that is waiting to execute a transition. Right now, there's no transitions here, but we'll talk about that. And what's a transition? A transition is a set of actions to be executed when a condition is fulfilled. So the first thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to make it so that the, the starting state is not dancing. The starting state is idle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here for the starting state, and I'm going to change that to, I'm going to bring this in here so you can see it. I'm going to change that to idle. And so just to check it out to make sure that's where they're starting. Uh, there they are. They're in the idle mode now, and they'll stay in that state. Uh, what I want to do here, I'm going to hold down my mouse wheel, and I can move this whole thing. I'm going to change the name of that state to idle so that it's self-describing, I-D-L-E. And this is for my benefit to do that. Now what I want to do here, I left click on this and I press the space bar. Uh, I'm going to make another, create another state, another empty state. And this state is going to, I'm going to make this the dance state. So I'm going to hit the space bar again. And now I'm going to come over here where it says new state. I'm going to call this one dance, B-A-N-C-E, and I'm going to make it, right now it says motion is none, I'm going to click on this, I'm going to come here to assets, I'm going to make this dance, and now I'm going to close this, I'm going to come over here, hold my mouse wheel down, I can move this, I'm going to come to the idle state, right click on it, and click on make transition. And notice an arrow comes, and I'm going to put it right up to the dance. Now, let's see what will cause this transition to happen. I left click on the arrow, and I come over here, and I can see there's the idle state, which is my start state, the one that's in the orange. And it stays idle for a period of time. And then you see there's an exit time. Idle will now change states to the dance state, after a certain amount uh, of, uh, after a certain duration, which I can modify here. So let's see if that indeed happens. Should happen after a certain amount of time. There they are in idle. And now they're going to be after that, that, that was the transition. And the condition for that transition was uh, a certain duration. So now if I come back here, they'll stay They'll stay in that dance state until there's another condition um, 
uh, for another transaction from the dance to the idle. So I come here on the dance state, right click on that, make a transition, bring that arrow down to here, and then left click on that arrow, and I come over here, and now I see it's going, there's the dance state, and it's going to transition to the idle, and it's going to be on an exit time uh, that has this value. So it should, what should happen to this state machine that I have here is it should start at uh, idle, which is the start state. The transition should take place after a certain duration, and then it'll go into the dance uh, state and stay there and transition again after a certain duration. So uh, I can test it down here. Like, for example, I can see my skeleton dancing. This little preview window gives me an idea of what it's going to look like, and it's sort of cool. And I can see all the different variations that are happening up here. And then it will, after that, that uh, uh, certain duration, it will now uh, do a transition to the idle state. So let's see what that looks like now. Okay. All right, here we are. There they are in the idle state. And now, uh, after a certain duration, they should go into their dance. There they go in their dance. And then they do their dance. And then after a certain duration of the dance, they should come back to... their idle state again. And they'll stay in their idle state for a certain duration, and then they'll go back uh, into their dance. So what we got here was a, an introduction to state machines, and we're going to use this abstract model here of the states and the transitions in order to create a rich variety of animations that hopefully make, these, make our models uh, look like uh, pretty intelligent people. So uh, check in with our next video, and we'll get into doing some coding and having uh, computer code uh, actually control uh, how we do transitions between the various states. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.